Your girl has got accepted into nursing school. Bye. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new here, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. We're on a road to 6K. So yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe on my channel and make sure you guys turn on your post notifications for new videos. Before we get started with the video. <sighs> okay, before we get started, I do want to talk about my accessories I have on today. So this is my necklace. Let me show you guys my little necklace. I got this floral uh, sunflower bracelet with sunflower earrings. Y'all can see, y'all can see. Be Kind is the company that sent me these pieces. This jewelry company is like a bee thing based type of thing. So like, you know, the bees and the sunflowers, that type of ordeal. So this brand was a mission to help protect bee colonies all around the world. Also, they donate 10% of their earnings of each purchase um, to nonprofit organizations such as the Pollinator Partnership. I will leave the link down below to this website. You can also save some money off um, using my code Makaya20 and you will receive 20% off your purchase. Yes, I just want to say thank you to Be Kind for sending me these pieces. I have the sunflower bundle, so it comes with the necklace. Um, bracelet and then the earring so I have the bundle if you guys were wondering so I'll link everything down below and thank you be kind again for sending me these jewelry pieces guys so let's get into this video and as y'all can see by this title your girl has got accepted into nursing school like it's been a long time coming like sorry I look like a little 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 boy but yes y'all i got stepped into nursing school like this has literally been like one of my favorite accomplishments accomplishments ever like y'all don't understand like the journey at my school like the whole nine like to get, get finally have this moment i am feeling blessed yes like your girl is feeling so blessed. I'm just gonna tell you guys like the whole nine on like the process, on like my um, doing my prereqs. I'm gonna tell y'all that that process, and then also me applying. So let's talk about my prereqs. So as y'all know, I go to a community college, Ivy Tech in Indiana. Yeah, so that's the college I go to. I feel like I said that like in the past, like like one of my older videos. But yeah, I go to Ivy Tech for school. Ivy Tech's nursing program is literally. Even though it's a community college or whatever, their nursing program is literally like one of the best in the state. So it's definitely like really competitive, like really competitive. So um, especially like different locations, they have like multiple like campuses, like the Indianapolis campus, Lawrenceburg campus, Kokomo, like a bunch of cities. You guys are from Indiana, but they got like different city campuses that you can apply to. So during my prereqs, um, what they require for nursing school is pre um, admission test. So like the T's test, you have to take the T's. Then you have to get a good score on that. And also you got to do um, anatomy one on one. Then you got to do a psych one on one. Then you got to do I don't think a psych one on one, but like a psych class or whatever. And then you got to do English. I've been took my English and my psych. I took I've been took all those like a long time ago. Um, so I pretty much been had my prereqs. So at first, I'm gonna here. Let me show you guys like my. So this is my Ivy Tech prereqs diploma. Like they literally had a whole little online ceremony for <laughs> if you complete your prereqs. But yeah, this is how it looks. So if you go to Ivy Tech, once you finish your prereqs, you're supposed to be getting one of these. And I got these in the mail. This was like happening when COVID started. So yeah, you get like a little diploma saying that you completed your. Uh, prereqs pretty much I had completed my prereqs so I could tell y'all like my grades at first because I did have to retake a uh, class so with my English class I had ended with a A psych I ended up with a B and then um anatomy I ended up with a C and that's what I really went wrong at and then mind you like I was talking to my advisors I've been to talking to my advisors about it but they was telling me like, yeah, like a C really won't cut it. Like with anatomy, like 
it won't cut it. Like, you got to have a B or an A, like, or really reach for that A. Like, because, like, different camp, like, the campuses are very competitive. So, it's like, they want you to kind of get an A in anatomy. Like, no doubt about it. So, but at first, I didn't really take that to the heart for real after I got my first, like, decline um, to nursing school the first time I applied. So, because I'm like, dang, like, an A, B, and a C, that's, that's pretty good. Like, to me, it was. I thought I was pretty good. Like, anatomy is, like, so hard to me. It's just, like, a lot to remember. Like, it is. It's just such a lot to remember. So, um, the first time I applied was, like, for the fall of 2022, I applied for that because I've been really been kind of slow during my whole Ivy Tech journey. I feel like I feel like everything has been slow. Like, I don't know why I'm just now applying for the nursing program, like literally this year. Like, I really don't know. Yeah. So so back in like the spring of 2022, I had applied for the fall mission and whatever. So for the application, you pretty much need your uh, they want to uh if you got your CNA license, because you'll get points off that, and then they want your high school diploma, and then they also want your T's and mission scores. So for your T's, you have to get like a um, a score. They do got like a like a beginner, like a um, beginner, a proficient X, like expert. I'm really not sure. Like, don't call me on it, but I know you just got to get a proficient on your T's. So I feel like that's like a 60 something and above, or like a 50, like is it's one of those like a 50 or 60 i put it up in the screen below like what's the score levels uh for the t's but yeah so you got to get a proficient or better on the t's yeah so the first time i took the t's i didn't get proficient i got like the lowest one so because i did really bad on it um i just feel like like 2021 i just wasn't taking things serious like I was just wasn't in the best headspace. Like I was really like down bad 2021, especially towards the end of 2021. Really like the whole 2021. Like I would just felt like I was so down bad. Like I looked down bad. Like if y'all go to my videos back in 2021, like I look, I feel like I look different, like skinnier, like because I was just really in a bad space. Like I didn't care about nothing. Like I hated my job. I didn't care about school. Like I didn't care about nothing. Like all I did was just literally. I did that all day and like that was it like I just wasn't in the bed the best headspace like last year but yeah so this year I this is like because this was like my comeback year definitely I want to make a change and like regroup and really gather myself because I felt like I was so stagnant in the same place for so long I had to like do something about it so even 2022 like this year like I worked out more I eat more I like stopped some like smoking I'm gonna just say I stopped smoking like all that like it's a lot y'all so I really came back like I just feel so much better about myself and in the best head spell it's not motivated to get to the nursing program so after I applied for the fall mission of 2022, I I was comp I wasn't as confident if I was gonna get on or not just because that C in anatomy like I just didn't know what to expect because I chose like three different like locations. Um, the most competitive one is the Indianapolis location, which is in my city. So I chose three different um, three different locations, and I also because you can apply for like the nursing program, and I also apply for the LPN program at the same time because you can do that like apply for different things or different programs like at the same time on your same application. So I had applied for the LPN and I applied for the nursing program, and. I was like, well, shoot, at least if I don't go get into the nursing, I can get, at least get into the LPN. Like, I should be getting into the LPN or something. Even though I didn't want to do that, I feel like that's just going to slower my whole process down. Not feeling the vibes. Basically, I applied from fall 2022 and I didn't get in. So, I wasn't too bummed out about it because I was just like, no, I just know what I needed to do, which was get an A in anatomy. Like, I just that was like a must. So I kind of just like didn't even get my hopes up. Like, I mean, I didn't really have high hopes for real. It's kind of just like if I get in, I get in. If I don't, I don't. Now, since I like didn't get in, so I called my advisor and told him like, yeah, like I need to, can you like get me set up so I can like register for anatomy? So that's what I did. So I did anatomy, uh, the accelerated course, which is like half a semester. Like you do all that for eight weeks. I think it's a 16 weeks each semester. 
So I did an eight week anatomy course so it can be on time for application that is due. Cause I, oops, application was due October 15th uh, for the spring 2023. That's where I got accepted to for next semester. So yeah, I did my anatomy class, whatever, whatever. Got an A, ended up getting an A. So applications was open when I was taking my anatomy class. So I, I automatically applied like the first week it opened, like or whatever. Because my once my anatomy grade is like finalized and in my transcript, it goes automatically to my application and changes. Like I was literally like doing that. Um, After my like anatomy class over, I was like checking my application like all the time to make sure my grade changed from a C to an A in anatomy. Like I was not playing. Like I was so determined to get in um, to, to the national program. Like so determined. And then finally when grades are due and I guess the like the next day I seen the grade change. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm good standings. I got two A's and a B. That's good. Like so, and I got the A in anatomy. So that's like really good. Like I was very, very confident. So once like grades was done, like the class was over and whatever, the application started going. I already knew, so how the application thing works. So they do like, uh, it's like a cohort. So they do like round one, round two, round three, round four, or whatever, whatever. So round one, round one was like the day I got accepted. So it was like, October 21st because that's where I got accepted on October 21st because they start doing sending out like emails at like six in the morning so and it's so crazy though because that night before I could not really sleep because I was like I know I'm just thinking about like did I get in or not like did I get in or not did I get in or not so I ended up going to sleep and then I ended up waking up going to the bathroom or whatever then I like got back in bed and then I was like oh shoot let me check my email I checked my email and then the first email that popped up, it said a mission offer. I was like, I know you get lying. Like, I know you're lying. Then I, I already kind of had a like, uh, uh, I really hope this is, I didn't get accepted for the LPN program. I clicked on it and it said I got accepted for the nursing program, like the full blown nursing program. Like, so I can I have my associate's degree in nursing. Since I do go to a community college, guys, I'm gonna have my associates in nursing. So I'm gonna be a associates uh, RN associates, and then so hopefully soon I go get my bachelor's. Um, my job can pay for that, so that's the plan. But anyways, but yeah, but I got accepted to the nursing program, not the LPN, the nursing. So I was so like excited. I could not stop talking about it. Like no lie, like. I told my friends, I text down, told my family, like, I was just so excited because I'm not going to lie. I feel like ah, it's like, it's so hard to believe like I got here, but it's like not hard to believe because I really worked hard. I feel like I definitely deserve this spot. Like I definitely got my flowers and my runs being a CNA. Like it's like, it was so much time. It was so time to level up from then. Like, I've been giving y'all the CNA videos. Like, y'all see me as a CNA. Like, now y'all about to, like, see me go on this journey being a nurse. Like, that is so exciting to me. But, and that's why I was like, I can't stop thinking about it. Like, ever since I got the email, I look at the email, like, every day. Be like, I really got accepted into nursing school. <sighs> it's so crazy to me. Like, so crazy. Like, I'm just so excited. Like y'all can just tell like I'm just cheesing like right now because it's like it's been a long time coming, girl. But yeah, so after I got accepted, you know, I told my family, whatever, everybody was, you know, happy for me. I'm trying to celebrate with anybody I can who wanna celebrate with me that I got accepted. Like let me know. Like we can go celebrate. Like I don't know. This is definitely a big, big, big accomplishment for me. Especially because, you know, well, I know I ain't the smartest bunch, but like, I don't know. I feel like certain things kind of like make me feel like I'm not like the smartest thing in the world. But like when it comes to like the nursing stuff, I feel like I I got that stuff handled. Like I got like even when I took CNA, like I was for like that was like my favorite class. Like when it comes pertaining to like nursing stuff and not the extra math and blah, 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 blah. Like. When it comes to like nursing stuff, like skills and stuff, like I got that in the bag because like I've been doing this for so long. Like, so that's why like when I was in my CNA class, like the CNA program, like it was just like a, 
like nothing to me like it wasn't and it was like enjoyable like because I was just so interested in making sure and it was like a, like I gotta get the I gotta get to the end the goal was to get my CNA license like that so now that's just how I gotta think of it now now since I got accepted like I'm gonna just tell you guys like kind of like the things I'm worried about and the things about like I'm excited about so the things I'm really like excited about is definitely like Definitely this new learning experience, seeing, you know, I'm watching, been growing up, you know, since in the healthcare field, watching these nurses, like now I can do what they're doing. So that's pretty exciting. And also like, um, yeah, this is going to be like, I think I'm just excited for this is definitely going to be like a big challenge for me. And it's really going to like test me in every aspect, like mentally, like mainly, because it's just like, I have to be so committed, like so committed because it's kind of just like I feel like I'm like competing for my spy like I can't do bad like I really can't like I'm gonna be like I can't fail like I can't do bad and I just don't want to put too much pressure on myself but that's how it feels to me like I feel like I'm kind of competing for this spot because I know like I feel like nursing school like you can't even get like a certain grade on stuff like that for or, or you get booted or whatever or you're not gonna move on or something like I don't want that like I gotta keep going whatever so I think the main thing I'm worried about is just like having just kind of figuring out my study habits um I'm not the best studier because my attention span is like a fucking nut like literally small so <laughs> I just got to figure out the best way I can study without distractions, like no distractions at all. So if y'all have any tips for studying, please let me know in the comments. That's good for like people with short attention spans because I it's like I need to figure this kind of out now before I like start nursing. But like I most likely I'm going to have to figure it out while I'm in nursing. But, like, I just can't slack off, like, at all. It's like studying. Like, I know it's going to be so much work. But, like, at the end of the day, it's going to pay off. And it's going to be, like, I got to get the degree. I got to get the end goal. So, I got to do what I got to do. Like, I'm taking this, like, so serious than any other thing I've done. Like, other than, like, I'm taking this so serious. Like, how I took CNA serious. Like, I'm taking this serious. Like, this is my career. Like, this is going to be my career until, you know, YouTube. You know, me, me and YouTube here. But other than that, like, that's going to be my career. just wanted to share you guys my exciting news because literally y'all about to have day in the life of a nursing student. Like, I'm about to be giving you that type of content, vlogging more, vlogging class, studying, like, my whole journey. Like, this is like a little journal for me. So, yeah, I'm just so excited. Let me know in the comments if y'all proud of me, like. That is it for this video. Just stay tuned for some some y'all will see the nursing content is gonna be coming more full effect. Like I don't want it's not just gonna be a nursing channel. Like I'm gonna still do my natural hair, the protective styles like the hair videos. But yeah, the nursing content is coming as well. Like I'm gonna be blogging like a lot more. So just stay tuned for that. That is it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.